Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set the environmental path for Java so that you can execute, you can compile, execute Java programs from anywhere of your file system. First of all, you need to know where the Java has been installed. If you have installed successfully, Java is normally installed under the program files. Here there is a folder Java, as you can see that, and within this, the JDKs are installed. I have two different versions of JDKs. One is uh, 1.7.0 underscore 9 and other one is 25. So I am going to set the path of this uh, 1.7.0 underscore 25. So within this folder, this is, this is the JDK home directory as you can see that in the address bar c slash program file slash java slash JDK 1.7.0 underscore 25. And within this JDK home directory, you can find a folder named bin. This bin folder contains all the Java tools that those are necessary for development of Java programs. Now, primarily what we'll be, no, we'll be dealing with is Java compiler and dealing with our Java compiler and Java runtime environment. This Java C.exe is the Java compiler and this Java.exe is the Java runtime environment. So this compiler is required for the compilation of the Java file and this is required for the execution of the Java file. So what you need to do is to set the path for this bin directory in the environment so that from everywhere we can get the java compiler and java runtime environment so just copy this path with ctrl c after selecting this just select this path ctrl c and then go to my computer right click on my computer properties advanced environment variables then find the path here in the system variable list here is the system variable list as you can see find the path click on edit uh, don't just paste right now just go to the end of the variable value list this is the variable value. This, these are the existing paths already set with the system don't paste by selecting when the existing path is selected now as you can see that as soon as you click on edit the existing variable value is selected now if you type control V the path for Java will be pasted over the existing path and the existing paths will be lost. So what you need to do is to go to the end of the list by pressing any key, right arrow key and then put a semicolon. Semicolon is the demarcation between two paths as there are many paths in the system. Just put a semicolon then control V and you have added the bin folder with the path. As you can see that c colon slash program file slash java slash jdk 1.7.0 underscore 25 slash bin is now in the path variable. So now just press OK and get out of here. Since I have already added this, I am just pressing cancel. But you should press OK and the path will be added with your system. OK, so you have done adding the path with the system. Now what you can see for, just for uh, checking whether it has been added successfully or not, just click on start, go to run, type cmd, it will take you to the command prompt. And here is the command prompt now just path type path and press enter it is going to show you the existing path and you can see if you have added the path successfully then it will show you the path for java now as you can see that there is java path here as you can see that here so i have the path for java already installed it is here actually you can see that program file slash java there I need to increase the buffer size in order to view that. Okay. So now what happens? Also, what you can do for checking, just type Java C and press enter. If it shows you something, a list of parameters, yes, this one, then you can understand that you have successfully set the path. And if typing Java C and pressing enter, if typing Java C and pressing enter gives you uh, a, a, an error message that Java C is not an internal external command, then you understand that you have not set the path successfully. So now how you are going to compile a Java program? What I'm doing, I'm just writing a simple Java program and I'm just trying to compile this. Okay, simple hello world. So that's a simple Java program and I'm saving it here. That's going to display hello world message. I'm saving the folder, saving the Java file here at C directory within Santa, and I'm saving it with start, S T A R T, 
or any name you can give it's not mandatory if you give the same name as the class name i can give my java dot java that's the file name so this is the directory where i have saved that file c drive santa and here is my java dot java so what i need to do is to compile this so for that i'm going to the command prompt again i need to move to the directory where i have i have stored that java file so i'm moving to the directory cd change directory backslash will take you to the root then change directory santa will take me to the santa directory now i am within the directory where my java file is dir start.java will enlist all the java file within the current directory as you can see that there is only one java file my java dot java so what i'm going to do is to compile this file with java c now for compilation java c space then file name now these are the songs oops i need to give my java dot java so it's going to be compiled and if there is no error now it's showing error as you can see that i have given a wrong token here s-t-t-a-i-c that's the wrong spelling for static so i need to correct so if you have any error while compilation then it's going to enlist the error the compiler is going to enlist the error in the command prompt so what you need to do is to correct your program is s-t-a-t-i-c so i've corrected the program save the program then again go on compilation just press up arrow key is java c my java dot java again it has been compiled successfully so you can see that this start dot class now my java dot java is not going to compile to my java dot class it's the class name within your program okay the class name is start so on compilation on successful compilation the compiler is going to generate start dot class now if we have um, more than one classes on comp in a single file now on compilation on successful compilation each file is going to generate one dot class file the compiler is going to generate one dot class file against each class that you have written in your, in your source code okay so we have done the compilation now what we need to do is to execute for execution just write java then the class name remember it's the class name nothing else so the class name is start that contains the main method now if you have more than one classes in a single program then you need to supply the class to the jvm or java that contains the main method okay so here it is it's running so hello world has been displayed successfully so this is how you can compile your java program you can set the path for your bean directory and you can compile your java program you can execute your java program so i hope that this is going to be helpful for you Thank you very much.